What's up, YouTube? Uh, little update on my 2022 Pan America. You guys watched my other video. I've had a little bit of trouble with it starting and I've had it to the dealer twice. The first time they just checked my battery sitting home with me and I got home, it wouldn't start. And the second time they come and got it, took it back, did a couple of uh, software updates to it and it probably does start a little better. I know it turns over better, but whenever it does start, it seems like it throws, throws half a dozen codes, locks me out of, uh, locks my adaptive ride hide out, locks my ride modes out. Uh, sometimes my ABS and uh, it's just not acceptable so I got on and, and uh, looked up Harley Davidson's customer service number give them a call told them my situation uh, they had ordered my starter clutch gear it's like a service bulletin or a recall or something on that wasn't due until February I talked to uh, Harley Davidson uh, customer service. They told me they would pull one off, get it to my dealer as soon as possible. It come in uh, three days later. My dealer sent me a text saying my parts were in. So it's going to go back this week and uh, hopefully get taken care of. You know, uh, I love the bike. It, it performs great. I enjoy riding it. I just want it to, to work. You know, I just want it to work like it's supposed to. And that's what I told customer service, you know. You, when you call those people, be respectful, be professional. And, uh, you know, they want you to be happy with your with your purchase. And uh, that's what I did. And, and the lady I talked to was very nice, very helpful. And, you know, asked what I'd been through and, you know, how, how she could help. And that's what you got to do, you know, just tell them what you want, you know, and, and you know, what it takes to, to get you to the point that you're satisfied. And the uh, main thing is be nice and uh, they'll take care of you. That's my experience anyway. I don't know about anybody else, but that was my experience. So hopefully I was going to take it down yesterday, but we had some nasty weather uh, come in as seven below zero and we got a little snow and I wasn't going to haul it 120 miles down there. So I'm going to take it in Tuesday. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better. I'll take it down and get it taken care of. And, you know, a day or two, hopefully it'll be done. And they was going to see if they could get them to authorize a battery replacement. Because I still think that's a big part of it. Everybody says, just buy you a battery. Well, you know, I bought that bike with a warranty. And I shouldn't have to buy a battery. They should, you know, that should come with it. If the battery's bad, it should be replaced. So that's why I haven't bought a battery myself. And I do believe that a battery would take care of the biggest part of it. So that's where I'm at on the battery buying. So I just want to give you guys an update. And I uh, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve. And uh, have a Merry Christmas. Get to spend some time with your families. Uh, I know I get to spend a little time with mine this year, and uh, we will see you guys next year. Thanks for watching. Uh, be safe out there. Have a blessed day. Mudcats out. Bye, y'all.